This bass, legendary. The Music Man Stingray is one of the most distinct and recognizable sounds in popular music. And in the right hands, it's responsible for some of the most iconic music ever recorded. So today, I'm breaking down the top 10 greatest Music Man bass lines. And I'm gonna try to recreate all of them using this bass. But first, I need to be clear, these are just my personal favorites today. And sadly, there are no fretless bass lines on this list because I don't own a fretless Music Man bass. But I am open to continuing this in another video, possibly sponsored by Music Man. On to the list. Number 10 has one of the most distinct bass intros ever, and the character of the instrument just jumps right out at you. Nineteen eighty-eight post-punk alternative music complemented perfectly by bassist Joe Lally, playing an old Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray with a pick. One of the greatest and most underrated bassists ever has got to be Gary Granger. He made a handful of albums with jazz guitarist John Schofield in the 80s, which to me are defined by his incredible playing and the sound of the Music Man bass. This song is from the 1988 album Loud Jazz, which also featured the great drummer Dennis Chambers. And when this record came out, it messed everybody up. Dig the crazy syncopation on this bass line. <music> Gary Granger's time is so good. It's easy to mix up where beat one actually lands. Sade has been one of the most distinct sounds in soul music for over 40 years, and part of that sound has always been the Music Man bass. And bassist Paul Denman is absolutely brilliant in the groove space, as he is on this four-note classic from 1988. J-pop is a new discovery for me, but when I heard this track, it was all about the Music Man. Yeah. The aggressive voicing of this instrument makes it perfect for slapping, and this bass line has it all. Thumping, plucking, and double thumbing. All played to perfection by the great Japanese bassist Ryosuke Nikamoto in 2022. Does anything smack harder than a Rage Against the Machine bass line? This is the perfect marriage of elements in my opinion. The intensity of the music, the power of the message, the in-your-face tone of the instrument, and the brilliance of the player. Bassist Tim Comerford destroyed this one in 92. Is there a more famous bass line than this one? Queen's biggest hit started from this bass line and was influenced by chic and other soul and dance music. Though not as aggressive sonically, 
This song revolves around this line, which was played and written by John Deacon on a Music Man bass around 1980. Tony Levin has been flying the Music Man flag for decades with groups like King Crimson, Paul Simon, and many, many others. This super iconic bass line was conceived by Tony on top of a drum machine groove from 1986's So album. It's the line that Peter Gabriel lovingly refers to as the super wonder nappy sound. The sound of Chic and the Music Man bass go hand in hand. The band's most iconic songs are driven by Bernard Edwards' punchy, articulate, and grooving bass lines. And there are so many great ones, but this one from 1978 has always been my favorite. Also, those tubular bells are sick. I can't think of a more famous bass player so closely tied to the Music Man sound than Flea. His work with the Red Hot Chili Peppers is legendary and his playing has defined the sound of the band and the instrument. Again, there are so many lines to choose from here, but I went with a hit from 1989. Next day's function, high class luncheon. Food is served in your stone cold munching. Music comes on, people start to dance for the A hip hop classic that revolves around a bass line by Flea that only paid him $200. Yeah, 200 bucks. Also, it's probably my wife's favorite bass line. Number one was a no-brainer. When it comes to the Music Man sound, Lewis Johnson tops the list. In the words of the company, his style and sound were a perfect match. When I pick up my Music Man, it is hard to not want to throw down on some Lewis, including this gem that he co-wrote and recorded with Michael Jackson in 1979. I know, I know, this is just a tiny slice of incredible tracks recorded on a Music Man bass. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comments. Whether you're playing punk, rock, funk, jazz, or whatever, this bass is a true original. <laughs>